Welcome to episode 30 of Pal World with Rillavetch, and today we finally discover a method to make use of a big base, and actually put multiple stories in it. If you haven't already seen the other episodes, go back and watch them now, please. I'm redoing this base one last time whenever I do this, because I have done this so many times already. But from what I can see, is this rock will be in the corner, and the circle needs to be shifted over here. Keep as much over here as possible, but yeah, this needs to be the edge of the circle. I don't even think it's gonna work like that. Cause you got these over here. It might, it might just like go around them all. But I have to destroy everything in this entire base in order to make that happen, which is brutal. We really built up this design here hoping it'd be the last. I need this dang circle to fit. Let me spawn in immediately. I was gonna try to catch it, he wouldn't have been a bad one to the team. Alrighty then. Oh, yes, yeah, perfect. Oh, thank you. I could already tell you it's going to be perfect over here. We'll make it work. appreciate you so much my man we got five people in here for you to even give subs to i have not even looked at the sub thing thank you we starting multicasting now woody that's super fire man 
We're gonna uh be live on YouTube, Twitch, Kick, day 515. We're definitely going to day 1000. It's for the YouTube video. Other people only did day 1 through 100. I got 10x that. But even 1 to 500 is really plenty. I don't think anybody's done a thousand though, that's kind of why I want to do it. We finally got this banging mine finalized like no other, it looks beautiful. I'm so rusty, that's why I'm just like giving it a little bit of time. These uh, first days are going to be a little slower. <laughs> I'm not so rusty. I edited for two weeks, so I've realized there's no need to put chests in this main spot over here. You just leave them all around the place. I have learned that putting enough chests everywhere really matters or else the picking up people will be walking too much you won't be picking it all up and you can use less picking up people if you have a chest next to each rock which i'm probably gonna do eventually we also added in up here this is banging area bedrooms right there got two of these but i didn't want to lag it so i didn't fill them with uh pals or anything yet it's completely encapsulated in. I couldn't tell you why that one guy's outside of the circle. Pal World, please fix your stuff. I, I capsulated in so that didn't happen, and Hami's still just out there. He got 100% sanity. It's going to be gone in a second. It's really a nice base, though. I like it much more than the other design. And there's plenty of room, and the ore production is ridiculous. Things shouldn't be leaving out. I mean, that's the only problem I've seen so far. Every ore is spawning in. I checked that plenty of times yesterday. And we got four of these things now to really keep it going. I need more electric organs to get about two or three electric things at the base. Because one is not enough. It might be enough if you have like a good minion or something. Let's hatch all these eggs. Frozen egg. Nice, a new minion. Love that. Love it. It's probably in like a low level ice area. Oh, those are really good. I needed that. Those are so good for electricity. Movement 3, electricity 2. Um, I don't even think I needed that one. And the rest of those should be ready to hatch soon enough. Making some carbon fiber. I need shotgun bullets. I think the only thing that frustrates me with this game is the glitches. They're almost unbearable. That's what's gonna give you that upgraded, like, wipe your memory. Oh, that's so easy to make. We should have already had this. That'll wipe your memory, though, so you can reset your stats. But here's the problem, is I hear there's a glitch in the game where if you reset your stats, it resets all your effigy progress, because those aren't gonna pop back into the map. Like, it's that kind of stuff, just hop in there and fix it, please, game. And if I can't catch Anubis, I'm not catching that Jet Dragon yet. But once I catch Jet Dragon, I'm gonna open up the entire map. I just feel like it's a waste to do it without the highest mobility possible. It has double the health of Anubis. Like, it is no joke to take that out. I see people glitching it on that little, like, thing right here, but I by no means want to do that. Now that we got the best base possible for unlimited ammo supplies, ideally, next episode we will finally catch a minion that can put some work in on these legendary minions to progress this team more. Tune in next time on episode 31 with Power World and Rilovich. Oh yeah, that's that island I went to.